Hey you, you're a streamer I bet, or a gaming content creator, and you want a really nice boom arm for your microphone. You know, to get that microphone off your desk and away from that clicky clacky keyboard and mouse clicks of yours, closer to your mouth to improve audio quality for your stream on gaming content creation. Today I'm reviewing the Influencer Microphone Boom Arm Kit. And is it even worth picking up a microphone that's pretty much at the bottom of the barrel and how good the quality is it even? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. Ooh. Hello YouTubers out there, welcome back to Jordan YT. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Um, you don't mind uh, hitting that up. I don't, I don't, I don't usually do this, but apparently, like, it's the thing that everyone does now, and all the rest of it. So, I mean, if you want, it's totally up to you. If you want to hit that subscribe button, maybe even that, that bell notification. Although I, I won't blame you if you don't need it, because I hate notifications myself. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That'd be pretty sick of you. Or as you streamers out there, pretty pog. <laughs> this right here is the. Microphone Boom Arm Kit with Pop Filter <laughs> by a company called Influencer. Now, I'm 100% certain they didn't make this product. They're pretty much one of those companies that kind of like buy cheap products online from more, more third-party manufacturers and then slap their own labels on, which hey, honestly, I don't really mind that business practice. But at the end of the day, I really don't mind even if they slap their own labels onto it. You know, pretty much, you know, all tech companies do that with like USB flash drives and like little bags and such. So what's the difference between a boom arm? And, you know, at the end of the day, all I really care about is that if it works. So, does this thing work? Well, of course it does. It holds up the microphone. What else do you want me to say? You want to know if this cheap microphone boom arm is really worth your penny. Now, I bet you're a streamer or gaming content creator that, you know, want to get your microphone off death because, you know, time sided. It is getting a bit annoying hearing your Cherry MX Blues click away because, oh god. But other than that, I understand the thing. I kind of wanted it for a long time as well. And honestly, it's it's actually an improvement. And honestly, improvement to audio quality technically, because you're getting that microphone closer to your mouth, which is sick. And also, like, if you see it in the corner streams, it kind of, like, adds production value. When, when really it doesn't, you could probably get away with a stick and duct tape, to be honest. <laughs> now, for my American audience out there, I hope you're doing well today in the land of the free. Now, I tried to find a product very similar, being that, obviously, you will don't want to really get this thing from JB High Five and ship it internationally because that sounds like a nightmare. So I tried to find my best thing and I was on Amazon and I came across a company by Newer. Now they kind of do the same thing as Influencer by slapping their name on two third party products and then pretty much calling it their own. You know, same thing, it happens with a lot of other companies so, but other than that, I know Newer makes their own stuff but the thing that I found with the Newer uh, boom arm kit with pop filter. Pretty much the, the pop filter, the microphone arm itself are practically identical, obviously with a different label slap onto it. The only difference is being that the mic mount that actually, being that the actual clamp to actually mount the boom arm to your table is completely different. I think it's a bit wider in the newer version. And I think the 3.8 inch to 5.8 inch uh, adapter for different microphones is metal where the my one is plastic which is kind of lucky on your end. However, for you Aussie Aussies out there, I picked this bad boy up from my locally awesome yellow store, JB High Five. And they obviously got it from Influencer and, you know, stocked it on their shelves. You can buy this online or walk in store, depending if it is in your store or wherever it is. More than likely it is, it'll be somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so for this video, please keep in mind that I've already opened the box with its contents and pretty much all the items do come wrapped in a plastic bag for each of them. So keep that in mind for this review. Unfortunately, I've just lost the plastic bag just over time. Other than that, let's see what it looks like. Alright, so included we get a pop filter. Very, very nice. A microphone mount, typical use for like Carlroyd microphones that pretty much you see on stage and like um, like a school assembly is pretty much that's good for this microphone, so really nice to have. The table mount where the microphone actually slides into and mounts to the table. And of course, on the inside is the actual boom arm itself. Now, been thinking for the package, 
pretty much everything was kept clean, kept nice, and you know nothing you know was bent or broken or anything. So decent packaging, especially when it's like kind of a cheap product. I'm not sure how you're gonna get it as it is. So let's take this to the table. Oh, and of course we can't forget the three eight inch to three. 3/8 inch to 5/8 inch adapter, which is going to come in handy, and you're more than likely going to be using on this. So then it can actually. Now this came in the package attached already as is into there. So all you got to do is just unscrew it from there, and then screw it into your microphone if it's a 5/8 inch compatible. So yeah, you've got that. But yeah, this is made out of plastic, which is probably my only beef, and like you only get really one of these. Kind of wish it was metal, but eh, get what you pay for. Now before we get into the mounting stage, I'd just like to add, I've added in my own little furniture pad just to kind of put something between the actual metal bolt and the desk. That does not come included with the package. Now also on the actual boom arm, I put on these tiny little like cable management ties just so I can route my um, microphone cable a lot more easier. Doesn't come included, just letting you know those are pretty much the only two mods that I've done. But uh, in any case, it's still really easy just to run your cable around, so keep that in mind when you're watching this review. Now assembling is pretty straightforward, being taking the desk mount, attaching it to your desk, placing the boom arm in the mount and tightening the knob, then attaching your microphone with the included adapter onto the thread. This thread on the arm is a 3 8 inch, so if you have a microphone that's 5 8 it can be changed with the included adapter. Overall build quality is very solid. The arm and clamp is made out of aluminum, so it's not going to break anytime soon. Springs and bolts are made out of aluminum too, keeping everything nice and tight. And the only two plastic pieces I see are the 3 8 inch and 5 8 inch on my variant from JB Hi5, and two of the plastic tightening knobs either on the 3 8 inch uh, thread or on the middle of the scissor arm being you need to tighten. Being that if you need to tighten, if you like a certain position, and want to keep it that way for long streaming or recording sessions, it's easy to fold away and rotate out of the way so it won't clutter your desk. It's rigid enough and strong enough to hold a payload of 1.5 kilos or 3.3 pounds. And I'm actually loving this microphone, you know, it's doing as what it's advertised and the build quality isn't really like terrible or anything. And it's actually, you know, very well constructed. Yes, it's cheap aluminum, but it's cheap aluminum that's not going to hold up too much and keep its strength over time. Now, being that it keeps the microphone up and off the desk, away from my clicky clacky keyboard, and closer to my mouth where I can actually have better audio quality in streaming and recording. I'm extremely happy with the product. I picked it up at the time of the deal, which was about 25, this is a, uh, this is a uh, fair dinkum dollars, by the way, about 25 AUD. Now, I believe in USD, it would be roughly $17 at that price. So the one I'm linking for you Americans, which is the new old variant, I believe in Australia it's about $39.99, about $40 bucks for me. And I believe for you, that would probably be about $29.66 USD, I believe. So pretty much it kind of evens out. I think although you're probably getting a better variant being that the actual base clamp that goes to your desk is a bit wider in surface area, and the actual 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch uh, thread adapter is actually metal, being mine plastic. So I think you're getting a better deal, you rap scallions. Now, not every product is perfect, depending on your opinion and all the rest of it, but yeah, not every product is perfect, and of course I found some of the flaws. Now, the actual springs on the boom arm itself, I found that the bottom left-hand side one tend to make this sprung noise. Now pretty much that was just only because the actual spring's a bit too close to where the actual metal or the boom arm is. They're just kind of flinging around from where it's mounted or the actual uh, clip ring for where it's actually been held and keeping it all together. So other than that, it's just kind of a one-time thing where you're just opening it, where you're just opening it and closing it. So it's not really too much of a big deal. A little bit annoying that you hear this spung every time. <laughs> so if you're streaming, that's all. And another thing I really kind of didn't really like about this product is the actual pop filter. I definitely believe that you could probably put a sock on it on your microphone and you'd get away with it because the sock kind of does the same thing as a pop filter. But the pop filter included with the Australian variant and more than likely with the American variant is that. I find that the actual, uh, the bendy arm of it when it mounted to the microphone tends to not have enough strength to hold itself up. So it kind of just 
flop around. Other than that, like it's it's kind of semi-annoying because every now and then it will just slowly droop down. Eventually it will stop at a certain position, but it may have already gone past your microphone, pretty much killing the pop filter. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you are buying the version with the pop filter. But other than that, if you don't really need the pop filter, a sock will do the trick. Hey. How you doing? Alright, this is a very completely unscientific test of this pop filter being that number one. It's, you know, kind of dependent on your microphone, its gain originally, if it's going into like an interface or if it's straight into your PC, if you've got any filters applied. At the moment, I usually would have filters applied, but probably the best way to test this out is the sensitivity and how well it's doing because plosives are very like, they can be ignored, but like all the rest of it, all, yeah, because like you're really kind of like listening for it. So. I've turned off my um, uh, fil uh, filters for this, so I probably get the most rawest thing example. And microphone I'm using is the Samsung Meteor USB mic. So, here we go. So we need some plosives. Plosive, well that's a plosive as it is. Plosive, plosive. Peter Piper picked a pick of peckled pepper. Wait, isn't there more to that rhyme? Bruh, I've been scammed. Why? Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Explosive, implosive. Pa, 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 pop, ploop. Pomegranate. Huh? Hi, hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my ASMR. I, I know things are very quiet as it is, and um, uh, we'll just keep things nice and quiet when I'm reading out the, the pop filter. <laughs> All right, um, now you be the judge of that. Now, for reference, uh, Peter Piper pecked a peck of pickled pepper. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Explosive, implosive, just plosive. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> You be the judge. Was that an improvement over that? What you now? What you're specifically listening for is like the pu, the pu noise, and that usually kind of hits the gain up. But other than that, you be the judge and see how it sounds. And honestly, when you are fiddling around with the actual pop filter, it feels like you're kind of just wrestling with it, trying to get into its perfect position and finding the position it likes to kind of actually stay still. But you're just worrying about this little baby thing that's just gonna go like all over the place. So yeah. Pop filter, a bit of a nightmare, but can deal with it and can be solved with a sock. Overall, 25 Australian dollars is honestly well spent for a boom arm. Now compared to other boom arms, which range from about like 50 to like 256, I like, think like the Rode PSA 1 off by memory, that's honestly like a lot of money. I'm pretty sure you can buy USB microphones cheaper than the Rode PSA 1. Because here's the thing, I'm, you definitely want to get your microphone off the desk, but you don't want to spend too much money. And honestly, it's pretty well spent. Like, honest, like yes, I know it's not going to be the best thing in the world, and yes, it's at the cheaper end, there's definitely going to be some flaws, but it's not going to be perfect. And I understand that. I pretty much went into this knowing that, right, I'm buying a cheap product. I ex I'm expecting it not to be perfect in a way, and not to be the best thing ever or mind-blowing for me. I know it's going to be cheap, however at the end of the day it's going to get the job done. And I can confidently say that yes this product is cheap and it does show it from little parts every now and then, but other than that it's holding up my microphone, keeping it off my desk and actually improving my audio quality. It's doing the job right and it's doing the job well. So honestly, I'm actually kind of impressed with it. I honestly thought it would be too weak to hold it up, but honestly 1.5 kilos, I was actually kind of shocked on the actual payload of what this microphone could take. You could probably have your SM7B microphone along with a uh, shock mount for it and probably get away with it. Probably. Don't quote me, you're running very close to that edge though. But other than that, if you've got like a USB microphone that's either smaller or lighter, either ranging from the Samsung Media, which is my personal one, to either the Elgato Wave 3, pretty much ranging from those type of USB microphones, it's actually gonna hold it up well. Even I think a lot of the Worker B ones, I think the King B as well, definitely would advantage from it. I think that thing's like 800 grams. So you're kind of getting close there, but other than that, this microphone, um, Boom Arm, is definitely made for USB microphones, considering that they're a lot more lightweight. You could probably get away with more of a lighter XLR, or even better yet, a shotgun microphone like the Rode MGT2 if you got the mount for it. But other than that, it's pretty much doing the job well as it is holding up my USB mic. Alright, that's going to do it for me for this video. 
I 100% definitely recommend this. If you're in the market for a boom arm, but you don't want to spend like over 50 bucks, let's say, this is honestly worth it. So for you Australians out there, pick up the influencer one, you Americans out there, uh, check the Amazon links that I've linked in the description. From what I see, the boom arm is practically identical. The only difference being is the actual mount uh, that clips to your desk and the 5.8 and the 3.8 inch to the 5.8 inch. Oh, that's a mouthful. But yeah, that's the only two differences. If anything, they're practically the same, just with different brands. So please keep that in mind for anyone buying from the Amazon links. Not affiliated, just I just found them and they're the closest things I could find. So, But other than that, at the end of the day, is it actually worth picking up this bottom of the barrel fish feeder? And when I fished it out, God, that sounds so cheesy, kill me. And honestly, I didn't really have too many expectations. I thought this thing was actually gonna break weight. To be honest, I actually, I even thought this thing was actually plastic. I 100% do recommend. Did that light seriously turn off? It did so. But yeah, other than that, so if you wanna check out the links in the description, they'll be there if you wanna buy it. So yeah, if you are a streaming or content creator that wanting to get your microphone off your desk, and pretty much onto a boom arm, but you don't want to dive in to like really expensive boom arms. You really kind of want to get something cheap and that does the job well. I 100% recommend this. It's pretty great and does what you really need it to do. So yeah, pretty happy about this product. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the links and annotations for the videos that I've done. Like, comment, and subscribe today. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye or see you later.